<laughs> the Maverick is back. <laughs> All right. What are we talking about now? The worst kept secret in Jamaican sports. The worst kept secret in Jamaican track and field. The worst kept secret in Jamaican sprinting is that Jamaica's female sprinting, the future is looking bright. <laughs> and we are call a few names. Brianna Williams. Yeah. You know, she win an Olympic gold medal already. And she reached 28. See? You have Kevona Davis, who is in college. Her development is, is ongoing. And then you have the Clayton twins, Tina and Tia Clayton, Rona Edwin Allen. Right? These are all super talented young Jamaican female sprinters who are lining up, yeah, to succeed the golden generation led by, obviously, by Alien Tom Sahira, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sharon Simpson, uh, you know, that group with VCB, Karen Stewart. The, uh, I call them the golden generation of Jamaican sprinters. Well, the next generation, I don't know, I'm not going to call them the platinum generation. Yeah, them out there and them ready. Yeah, they are just about, they are, they, 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 they are simmer right now at a very young age, a relatively young age. But, you know, so the main one, me don't mention her yet. Her name is Brianna Liston. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Brianna Liston is the one I think I would have set my money on my house, on my car. You understand me? A half of my bank account, half of my bank book. See, on her making the transition to see her success. Me personally like Brianna Liston. Of course, she burst onto the scene about 2017 when she ran that age group world record, under 13 world record at the time, the fastest female under 13 years old. I think she was like 2372 as a 12 year old. Yeah, <laughs> see, and it made her BBC. BB say, yes, yes, Jamaica, they have found the next Usain Bolt, but she's a girl, her name is Brianna Liston, and blah, 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 blah. Of course, obviously, she had a rocky little patch between them and now because she, she, she had some serious injuries and she was out, couldn't compete for a while, and then now um, she, she subsequently, she changed school, she moved from San Diego, she got to Heidel now, so she had to miss champs, sit out champs last year, obviously the year before that there was no champs because of the global pandemic. So she had a little up and down period be between that, when she set that world mark, and now, all things considered, when you look at the quality of Brianna Liston, the others are good, you know, all of them good enough, as I said, Brianna Williams, she win a gold medal, Olympic gold medal already in the 4 by one really, you know. And the Clayton Twins, one of them a world youth champion, under 20 champion already, you know, over the 100 meters, you know. See? Yeah, actually, they, they, Brianna, Brianna Liston, see? She know, there's a little area about her now where we're not quite sure. Whether or not she going to specialize in at the 200 meters, as she going to run 1-2, as she going to even run 4-2. But in terms of raw sprint talent, Brianna Liston are the one me think. If I was a coach, the Maverick is no coach, you know, but if I was a coach and I was scouting for talent, scouting for young talent, for transition from amateur into professional success, I would have go all out to get Brianna Liston in my camp. You see that transfer, when she transferred from St. Diego to Heidel, it could be tricky because one of the prerequisites for me we help them to transition better is when them go to school and we're not chasing champs too much. Now, I am not 100% sure how much Heidel will be chasing champs and therefore how much work them going to load up um, Brianna Liston with, right? Obviously, as it is now, she can run the two relays, the 4x1 and 4x4, and obviously now them normally would give them two flat events. So if they are trying to chase champs, obviously they're going to want to run both the four and the two, probably even the one. See? Right? Or one and two, or four and two. See, but definitely going to run the two, because the two is her event, you know. See? But if, if Idol not about chasing champs, that would be a better, that would be more ideal for Brianna Liston, because she'd be able to concentrate on probably a single individual event and then go run her relays. See, but I've seen her run up 400 really legs in season, absolutely blistering. As we said, we, we, we are aware of all the other quality around all of them. 
But me just think if this girl is nurtured properly and coached properly, see, she stands a very good chance of going on all of them. I mean, I go around, I mean, I bias. I she are my favorite. I never met her. I don't know her. But just looking on as a track and field, you know, enthusiast and as a fan of the sport, I think in terms of the kind of qualities where you're looking for for your sprint of a transition. See, I think she has it. I think she seems to have gotten over the, the bad injury that affected her, um, you know, when, when she was probably about 14 or 15. See, she seems to have gotten over it right. Well, now she'll run, she'll get up now. She, she, to me, you see, the next time, she, anytime she starts the track, she going PB whichever of them event that she decides to run. If she decides to run 200, she'll go PB again. If she decides to run 400, she'll go PB again. If she go 100, she'll go PB again. And that's the kind of progress you see her with Brianna Lister. As I said, is a maverick. I may see it, you know. And when you look at her, look at her running form, look at her, her physical development, the kind of specimen she's, she's become. She's still trim and she's basically well, well defined. I think she's absolutely one for the future. Yeah. So I go up on a limb now. This is 2022. This is one now, March 2022. And the Maverick can go up on a limb and call it from now. So the next big thing from the from this platinum generation now. See, because the one before was the golden generation. Me I call them the platinum generation. See, a lot of bigger names out there than her right now, you know. Clayton them a bigger name than her, you know. Kevin Davis a bigger name than her, you know, as we tell you, say. As we tell you, say, Brianna Williams. The other Brianna. She have gold medal already. See, but I think in due course, give it another probably two, three years. Three years. Yeah, look at time to make the transition to seniors. But I think if she's protected properly, nurtured properly, and coached properly, yeah, it may be a big decision as to where she goes when she leaves school and how much longer she stays in school. That will be a big decision. You understand me? The route where she going to take. To, 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 to the international success where we are predicting. But me think in terms of raw quality, quality and potential, it don't get much better than Brianna Liston. Remember, the Maverick told you so. And I told you so first. Long time you tell me, you know. I told you so first. See? All right. There are some other issues with some, some other members of that pool. Some other members of that pool also, I think, deserve worthy mention. I'm going to talk about the Clayton twins in my next episode. Look out for that. The Clayton twins. Have some I have some some words about the potential of the Clayton twins and what might or might not happen with them. Next, next edition of the Oral Tracy Maverick. Remember the name? Brianna Lister. Remember the name? Brianna Lister. Good.